Hello, this is Kevin with Pinehurst Websites, and today I'm going to show you how to create a page of collections using the Dawn theme in Shopify. So a page of collections, I've got an example here. Uh, here's a page where you have a drop-down, and I've connected this navigation menu to the page. And instead of showing items in a collection, it shows the actual collections. And then you can click into that collection to see all of the items that are available in the collection. So that's the difference between connecting a navigation menu to a collection like designer bracelets or to connecting uh, designer necklaces and then you see all the items in it or you can connect this to this is connected to a page and it's showing a collection list. So it's very easy to do. Um, using the Dawn theme, there's no coding required like there may have been in the past to do something like this. So let's go ahead and just take a quick look at what we set up in the theme to accomplish this. So first you want to add the Dawn theme if you don't have it. Uh, it is a free theme from Shopify, so you can go to free themes. Uh, that will be in the bottom of your themes there in the Shopify admin. And you'll notice this says OS2, that's Online Store 2.0. Um, those are the new faster design for mobile themes from Shopify. This one is free. There's other theme developers that are developing 2.0 themes as well. Uh, so let's go ahead. Uh, you can just click on that and then you can add that theme. So now you can see that we have several themes here. We're just going to use the preview. I don't actually have it as the published theme on this store. But let's go ahead and take a look at what else we need to do. So first, we need to add a page. When you add a page, I'm just going to show you how you would do it. I've created a page called Designer Jewelry. And you're going to see that I didn't put any content except view. Uh, I misspelled this. View the Designer, designer Jewelry uh, by collection. So let's go ahead and just save that. So it's just all I have is a title. You don't have to have any content in here. If you want an image or other things like that, you can add uh, text or images to your description, but it's not necessary. And I'm using the default page template. So if you want to add a page, just create, go to add a page, and then give your page a title. So it, whatever you want to call it, if it was, uh, necklace collections or whatever it is uh, that you want to connect to and then I'll show you where you would connect it. So we've already created a page so I'm just going to leave this and cancel that and you can see the page we created was uh, called designer jewelry. So let's go ahead and look at where we connected this. So we created a navigation menu under home. This is the main menu right here. And that's our navigation menu at the top of the page. Uh, it starts right here, and then any submenus that we have, uh, you'll see how we did those as well. So I'm going to go ahead and just go into this is our drop down menu for designer jewelry that we created on the top. And I'm just going to delete this and remove that menu, and delete this one and remove that menu. And then I'm going to add them back just to show you how you would create your menu. So let's create a menu for designer necklaces. I'm sorry, designer earrings. And on this one, uh, these are connected to actual collections. So we're going to connect this one to a collection. And it's just going to be called designer earrings, which we've already created the collection. So we're just connecting that. So that's how you add to your navigation menu. So now I'm going to add another item to the uh, drop down here. And this is going to be called uh, show, shop by collection. So now instead of connecting to a collection like I previously did in the drop down menu, I'm connecting to a page. And then these are all my pages that I have. And here's the page that I created earlier, designer jewelry. So I'm connecting to that. And I'm just going to save the menu. So that's all you need to do as far as the menus go. And then I'm going to show you where I created uh, what I did in the theme. So where you set this up is you go to, otherwise it will go to a page that is a 
blank page because it has no content unless you typed some content in. So I'm going to go to customize on the Dawn. And we're going to look at my navigation menu. Now had I, where you will be is this is going to connect to a page, but you don't, you haven't set up the page yet. Now I have set up this page and what I did was I, I'm going to go ahead and just delete these real quick. And I'm going to remove that and I'm going to go from scratch and show you how I did this. Remove and remove. So, and just let's go ahead and just remove this section here. So this is what yours will look like uh, before you have added this section. So what you do is you go into the page and so you'll go to your navigation menu and you're going to go to the actual page you want which is right here and currently it's a blank collection unless you added some text to the description so it's just got the title and then it has the any text that you would put on the page so you're going to add a section on the left hand side and this section you're going to do is a collection list and then you can add more collections if you want. By default, it's going to give you three. So you're going to see it's pre-populating that, but you could actually just have two if you wanted, and you could remove one. And the way to remove a section is just go to remove section. So it's going to, when you want to do something over here, uh, it's going to give it to you on the right side over here. So you go from the left side to the right side. So we're going to connect first the uh, designer bracelets, and now you see it's populated here. So you have to select that. And then we're gonna to go to the next one. And you see it over here, you gotta go and select that collection. And we're going to designer earrings. And you have to select again that green button. And then finally, we're gonna to go to the last one and we're gonna go select collection. And we're gonna go designer necklaces. So somewhere in there. necklaces and select that. Now if you want to do more, uh, it's responsive so it's going to resize these based on the number that you choose for this. So if we were to choose another collection, it's going to put four collections in here and you see it creates that additional one and you would just select your collection and you could say do all your designer jewelry. So right here. And now you've got all four of those collections. So that's how you do it, and then you would select that. But I'm going to just do the three. And on this one, I'm going to go and cancel it. And I can remove this section now. So just remove the block, and now it is responsive, so it stacks three across right here. So that's all you need to do. If you want to preview this, you can click this icon right here. And you can see what it looks like on full screen. So you can see what your sections, uh, your page of collections looks like. You can see what it looks like on mobile. It stacks up your collections and then people can click into these and they can go and uh, view the entire collection once they click onto them. So that's all that you need to do to do this. Um, if you want to publish this, you can make this your published theme by clicking there and then it makes the Dawn your published theme if you don't already have it as the published theme. I think it's a great theme to start out with. Uh, you can find more tutorials at pinehurstwebsites.com. Thanks for tuning in.